Married at First Sight Season 15. Y'all be emailing me, texting. Oh, my God, because it did. What is going on with you and Married at First Sight? You up there in New Jersey sleeping, right? Like, girl, I need this word, girl. Why you haven't been reviewing it like the next day like you used to, girl? What is going on with you and Married at First Sight, girl? You you claim you're writing, girl. At least give us some, some, some of what you be writing, girl. Because, girl, you just been slacking, girl. You just, I know you up there in New Jersey sleeping, girl. Here's five dollars, honey. Buy you some coffee. Maybe you need some coffee. <laughs> this is these are the emails I'm getting from y'all's cousins. Okay, from y'all's cousin. Claim I'm up here in Jersey sleeping. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm late with Mar reviewing Merida at first sight. Hey y'all, it's Friday. I know I'm behind, but you know I'm gonna catch up. You know I'm going to catch up. I'm going to give it to you, boo. I'm going to give you what you need. She was like, girl, I need my word. I need my word, girl. There's so many stuff that happened and said that you be the only one catching it, girl. I need to know what you got to say. Hey, girl, I need you to know. I need to know what you got to say about Justin and Alexis. I told her what, I, what, I, what I'm what i going to say, but don't tell nobody. Yes, these are the kind of emails y'all's cousins be sending me, okay? So since I am behind on Merit at First Sight, and y'all think I'm up here in New Jersey sleeping, <coughs> I am going... <coughs> Excuse me. I am going to read one of the guys I dated from my new book coming very, very soon in the near future. This is July. Maybe you'll have it for September. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Be sure to subscribe. We are on our way to 100,000 cousins before we can get there. What we got to do, we got to get 20. Can I have 20? Check to make sure you are subscribed. Share this out. You can share this out on Facebook, <coughs> Instagram, Twitter. If you want to help me, <coughs> excuse me, to reach my goal, please be sure to share this out. Also, also, I have a membership on YouTube. If you love me, you want to support me. The membership is there. I will be changing my memberships in a while. I'm trying to get my membership off YouTube onto Patreon, but I'm working on something. another thing. I'm working on something. When I, when I show y'all what I've been working on, y'all going to apologize. I'm going to do a live, and it's just people apologizing for me for all those emails y'all sent me that I'm up here sleeping. So I am working on this behind the scenes on some stuff, and that's coming very, very soon. Be sure to check my Patreon out. And thank you for those reviews on Amazon. If you've picked up any of my books, have not left me a review, please be sure to check to get me, uh, to leave me a glowing five-star review. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So my new book that's coming is about the guys I dated, okay? And um, if I decided to date them or not. And so I want you ladies to, to really understand what it means dating is. Dating is about data. A lot of people don't still don't get it. Excuse me. A lot of people still don't get it. You can meet, you can go to the store, right? and meet a man who, who express interest in you and you can gather data on him. So <clears throat> this guy I dated was called Mr. Panties. Yes, girl, I said panties, okay? Ladies, when I say I was young and dumb, I mean that in every definition of the word. Mr. Panties was a guy I met at my community college. He decided that college was not for him, so he dropped out and went into the military. We lost contact for about a year until he returned. Once he returned, he searched me out and I was at Rutgers. He asked to hang out and I agreed to lunch. He wasn't my type, but since we knew each other from school, I hung out with him until it was time for him to go back. So before he went back, he asked for me to mail him a care package with Sunday school lessons and stuff from Varsity Bible Camp, and I agreed. 
Once he returned, I sent him some books and little things for him to give out to his military buddies. <clears throat> when he got the package, he called to say thank you, but that he was disappointed. I asked why he was disappointed, and he said, because he thought I would have sent him some of my panties. Panties? I asked, he said, yeah, next time send me a pair, pair or two of your panties and make sure there's some snicker bars in them. I asked, you want me to put snicker bars in my panties and mail them to you? He said, no, you know, like leave some skid marks in them. I asked, skid marks? He said, yeah, you know, like when you go to the bathroom and poop, don't wipe all the way, but leave some poop stays in your panties and send them to me. Y'all, when I say I was shocked, I had never heard anything like that in all my 20 something years of living. So I said, that's disgusting. Gusty, you're a nasty pig. He said, no, it's not nasty. It's just that some guys have fetishes. Like some guys like nice toes and some guys like, and some guys like panties with skid marks in them, LOL. <clears throat> to this day, that mess grossed me out. Yuck. So ladies, before you marry these men, please ask them about their fetishes, what their fetishes are. It might be something you're not willing to live with. All I could think was if this man and I got married, he would be going around sniffing my daughter's panties. How disgusting. Drop. So that's gathering data, right? <clears throat> he wasn't my type, but he was interested. So that's a part of gathering data. And then when you gather the data, you need to do something with the data. And I decided I'm going to drop in with that. I got to go, girl. Let me know what you think. Are you excited for my new book coming out about the guys I dated? Tell me in the comments about some of the guys you've dated. And I'll catch you on the other side. Love you, love you, love you. Mwah. Bye.